Hey everybody, welcome back to Armatus Reviews. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Bison fingerprint trigger lock for pistols and rifles. <laughs> today I'm going to be reviewing the Core Essentials Tactical Gun. This has an adjustable key grip. This can raise up or come down. So first of all, in full disclosure, I did not pay for this. Bison Gunlock uh, sent this to me directly uh, to do a review. Um, so I just want to get that out there so you guys kind of know I don't have money into this. I didn't pay for this, um, but I'm going to give you an honest review. I'm not going to go over a lot of the uh, features and specifications on it. You guys can see that on the website, um, but they briefly, they do report that you can unlock it in about 0.3 seconds. Um, it's supposed to have like a very, very low like uh, rejection rate. Um, it's supposed to be just very, very accurate and very quick to open up. You can have multiple fingerprints on there. Um, the, the fingerprint reader reads from any direction, 360 degrees. You can unlock it with a key or your fingerprint. Uh, it comes with the charger, so you can just plug it in and recharge it. You don't have to like replace batteries. So this is the box that it comes in. Let's go ahead and pop that open. I have opened this before and kind of messed with it. Um, it comes with um, a decent little instruction pamphlet, instructions on both sides for things. Um, comes with uh, one key and then um, one little pin key to push the, the set button and to set fingerprints or delete fingerprints. And then this is the gun lock inside the case, inside the box. And here's the device. All right, so this is the gun lock. Um, it has two halves. Here's the key uh, override right here, so you can open it up manually. When you have it locked up, it's pretty solid. It doesn't really wiggle a whole lot. Um, fingerprint readers right here with an LED indicator, charging port right here. Um, so let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, so. Um, you can see right here, we've got these little uh, spring-loaded pins, okay? Um, so as far as my understanding is, when these two halves are pressed against the, the trigger guard, um, these springs will have tension, and so when you, when you unlock it, the halves will kind of spring apart, right? So that it, it clears the trigger guard really fast so you can get to that trigger if you need to. It's got nice, it's got nice steel construction for the the little shaft part here that has the, the locking ridges or whatever um, that holds the, the halves in place. Um, it's got some nice rubber liners to help protect the finish of your gun, your trigger guard. So this side, this is the, the big side that has the fingerprint reader. Um, the way that you set this is you can either pull, you know, most of the way or you can pull it all the way off this little rubber sleeve. Um, and then right here at the top is a little set button it's kind of recessed and that's what you use this uh, little uh, pin key for so here's the sensor and the led hopefully you guys can see that um, i can unlock this just fine the light turns blue it unlocks really easily um, it unlocks for about i don't know what that was five six seconds maybe um, let's see actually i'm not sure one two three, four, five, six, seven, about seven seconds. If it doesn't get a good read on your fingerprint and it turns the light red, you can't just immediately try it again. It has to like wait and reset. So let's see if I can replicate that. Um, okay. See, then I, it let me do it. But I couldn't, once it, it detected a reading but it didn't get a good reading, it, it makes me wait like a second or so before I can try it again, before it'll, it'll recognize it and unlock it. Don't particularly like that if you're using it for like a home defense situation. So like, let's see, you get on there like halfway, right? It's red, can't, I can't unlock it. Now I can. So kind of sucks for a home defense situation. Okay, so like I said, I had issues with these not coming apart when I would um, use a lock. So it just sits there. Like it's, it's supposed to kind of spring out from each other so that it clears the trigger guard. Um, so it might be just because it's not on a gun, we'll see. So 
I do have the Masada here that was that was just right here. If you if you look here, this top part kind of dips down. Um, so I'm gonna try it with the, the dip part up, facing up toward the slide. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead like that. Okay, I think I was too high up, like hitting the hitting the right below the slide there. Okay, so now it's on pretty nice and tight. You got the fingerprint sensor on this side because I'm right-handed. Um, you got the lock on this side. You can see kind of how much more space there is on here. Um, I can just barely reach the, the reader right here. Um, if you have smaller hands, maybe a little more difficult. Something to keep in mind if, if your hands are too small, maybe you put it on your opposite hand so you can use it to unlock and be ready to go. So let's try it and see if, uh, if it's going to unlock. See, so it was red, so it didn't read right. So I had to try it again. It's unlocked. See, so I had to shake it. So let's try it again. I'm gonna try the same orientation with the dip side up. So it just seems to be really hit and miss on if it's gonna just like fling apart for you. Or if you're gonna have to give it like a, a tactical shake. Like those tactical, I guess, that like shake their, their mags out of their magwell. <clears throat> okay. That's on there, pretty tight again. So let's see, remember the LEDs right here. Okay, so that time it popped apart, that was good. Same orientation, dip side up. Got the fingerprint reader right here. Okay. Okay, it popped apart again. So it seems to be two for three, it's not bad. So one of the major gripes that I had with this lock, I don't know if the instructions have been changed and the, the pamphlet doesn't doesn't match that or what, but I had some, some big issues trying to set this. Um, so I, I, I went through and set my administrator fingerprint according to the instructions. That, that seemed to work because I can, I can unlock it. So then to set a new fingerprint, um, what you do is you press the fingerprint button or you press the set button for one second plate will turn on, you scan the recorded administrator fingerprint, and then you select the other fingerprint you want to unlock. Um, so this one right now is not um, registered. So let's try it. So one Mississippi, it's in setup, administrator fingerprint, this fingerprint, and it's good to go. Okay, so let's see now it should work and it does cool okay it's great um and at one point i had this one recorded as well as a, as a what i thought was an administrator fingerprint i don't know if it was or not but now it does not work um because i was able to figure out how to reset the, the fingerprints but not according to the instructions so let's read the instructions on how to delete the recorded fingerprints. Um, step one, press set for seven to eight seconds until the blue light is on and red light flashes asking for the administrator profile. When I do it, the blue light comes on but then it's flashing purple. Now, I don't know if it flashes purple because the blue light is solid and then the red light is flashing or, or what, but it's not a red light flashing. Um, step two, the blue light will illuminate for two seconds when administrator's fingerprint has been read then all enrolled profiles will be deleted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, okay, yeah, blue, purple, blue, purple. Now blue, 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 red. Okay. It still unlocks. If you guys can see, it's a blue light, hopefully. It doesn't reset anything. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, 10 Mississippi. So it's flashing. Okay, so that time we went blue solid after I put my fingerprint on. Still unlocks. Super frustrating. 
one, ten. Now it's just flashing blue, no purple. Blue, flashing blue again, flashing blue again, solid blue for about two seconds. Now did it reset? Looks like it. So now it did reset that fingerprint. So maybe that was like a, a good 12 seconds that time, so I kind of went slower. But it's just, it's so inconsistent. Like I don't, so let's try to set it again. I'm gonna set my fingerprint. One, so administrator, no, oh, it went red. It still unlocks it. Okay, let's try to set it again. One, Mississippi. Administrator fingerprint is what this should be asking for. It goes red. One, Mississippi. It's flashing. Should be going blue, goes to red. But this is the admin this is the only one registered. Nothing else works. This, is, this has to be the administrator one. It works. But I can't set a new print. So let's try without the administrator fingerprint. So just do this, bam, bam, three, solid blue. And I said you're supposed to do it six times, but it goes solid blue after three. Now it works. So the instructions do not match what this is programmed for. So there's just like a lot of inconsistencies with the programming, which makes me hesitant to recommend this. Um, so if anyone is struggling with this, um, you may not have to use the fingerprint or the administrator fingerprint to set a new one. Press the set button, do the new one three times, and it should be set if it matches this one. For resetting the fingerprints, you hold it for like 12 seconds and then do the administrator fingerprint, I think. I've confused myself because I've done so many different variations. And when I did that before, it reset this fingerprint too, the first time I did it. So that should reset all except the very first one you set. I don't know how to reset the administrator fingerprint. I don't know if you can. So anyway, guys, that's a really long-winded way. Hopefully I've cut it down enough to where it's not that long-winded. Uh, this kind of sucks, but also it isn't too bad. <laughs> It's, I don't know, it's not great. Um, but for some people who want something like this or who, who ha like maybe their state requires something like this, it, it might be a pretty good option. It's not ideal for home defense, but if you have to have something like this, it's, it might work. You all have to experiment with it to see. Came apart. So that's my experience with this. Again, I didn't pay money for it. They sent it to me for review. If you need something like this, it might work. You're gonna have to test it and experiment with it if you want to take the risk on it. Anyway, guys, that's it. I hope that information was helpful and not super confusing because I was confused myself with some of the different things I've tried. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Facebook's probably the best way to reach out to me. Um, or you can comment here, that works too. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you want to see future videos. Um, hit the like button. Um, check out my Facebook page. I'm gonna do some giveaways on there, some exclusive um, like Facebook only giveaways. Um, to help you try and grow that page a little bit. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care.